Welcome back to the final episode. So, thus far I have opened up two Astral Radiance Pokemon Booster Packs and a Sword and Shield Fusion Strike Booster Pack. And the two Astral Radiance Booster Packs that we opened up, I got a Origin Form Palkia V, which was great. I got a Leafeon to accompany it, followed by a Hishian Samurai V-Star and a Mighty Yenna. I was pretty happy with that. Then I opened up this Fusion Strike. So after opening up those two Astro Radiances, which is what I got from those, the Fusion Strike, I got this Chidi and Chien and Crest Fusion Strike Trainer Support Card, which is okay, I guess. So we have one booster pack left to open. We also have a Hishian Typhlosion V promo card to add into the mix. And we have four... TCGO code cards that I can use so to, well, to open up three booster packs and one will just give me some items in the game. So yeah, one booster left to open. Hopefully we can get something decent from this. Um, it's the only brilliant stars that I have from this set. So let's see what we get. So, constellations align in a show of force. Overflowing with light, Arceus V-Star descends from the high to share its celestial power with the other Pokemon V. Shaman V-Star, Charizard V-Star, Whimsicott V-Star find themselves wielding awesome new V-Star powers, with, while Mimikyu V-Max, Aragon V-Max, and Kingla V-Max in its Gigantamax forms boast tremendous strength of their own. Discover glimmering constellations, start your journey, towards stellar greatness in the Pokemon trading card game Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars expansion. So the Pokemon trading card game of Sword and Shield expansion of Brilliant Stars contains over 170 cards. Each Pokemon trading card game Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars booster pack contains 10 cards and either one basic energy card or one V-Star marker. Each player must have a total of 60 cards in order to create a deck in order to play the game. If you like Pokemon, make sure that you go to www.pokemon.com I don't know why this corner has been cut on this booster pack. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. So let's see what happens in this pack. But nonetheless, let's go. So first card for today is Caster Form, having 70 health points, being a normal type Pokemon with a dex entry of 331, being a weather Pokemon, having an ability, sorry, having a move of double draw and hurricane, 116 out of 172. Its form changes depending on the weather, the rougher conditions get, the rougher cast the form disposition. <laughs> so basically, if it's bad weather, you're going to see a bad cast of form. Chimchar, 50 health points, fire type Pokemon with a dex entry of 390, being a chimp Pokemon with a move of Ember, 24 out of 172. The gas made by its belly burns from its rear end. The fire burns weakly when it feels sick. Chimchow, having 70 health points, being a psychic type Pokemon with a dex entry of 358, being a wind chime Pokemon with a move of clear tone and hang down, 63 out of 172, admitting ultra sonic cries, it floats on the wind to travel great distances. Golette is up next, having 50 health points, being a fighting type Pokemon with a dex entry of 622, being an automation Pokemon with a move of mud slap and pound, 82 out of 172. The weird, uh, sorry, the <laughs> the weird. They were sculpted from clay in ancient times. No one knows why, but some of them are driven to continually line up boulders. Hmm. Maybe this had to do with Stonehenge. Corpish, being a water type Pokemon, having seventy health points with a move of water gun and crab hammer. 32 out of 172 with a dex entry of 341 being a ruffian pokemon no matter how dirty the water is in the river it will adapt and thrive it has a strong will to survive trainer stadium magna basin once during each player's turn that player may attach a fire energy card from the discard pile to one of their benched fire pokemon if a player attaches energy to one to a pokemon in this way put two damage counters on that pokemon the stadium stays in play when you play it. Discard it if another stadium comes into play. If a stadium with the same name is in play, you can't play this card. 144 out of 172. Staraptor, 150 health points, being a normal type Pokemon with a dex entry of 398. Being a predator Pokemon, having a move of Strong Breeze and Spinning Bird. 
119 out of 172. When Starvia evolves into Staraptor, they leave their flock to live alone. They have sturdy wings. Then we have a Steel type energy, followed up by Trainer Item Choice Belt. Pokemon tool, attach a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon tool attached to it. The attack of this Pokemon this card is attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon V before applying weakness and resistance. You may play any number of item cards during your turn, 135 out of 172, followed up by a Generation 1 Executor, which is the evolution of Execute, having 140 health points, being a Leaf-type Pokemon with a deck entry of 103, being a Coconut Pokemon, having a move of Mega Drain and Seed Bomb, 2 out of 172, each of Executor's three heads is thinking different thoughts. The three don't seem to be very interested in one another. And the final card for today from this pack, which was none other than a Brilliant Stars, is a Trainer Item Blunder Policy Pokemon Tool. Attach a Pokemon Tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon a Tool attached to it. If the Pokemon this card is attached to uses an attack, if you flip a coin for the damage or effect of that attack, if any of them are Tails, draw three cards and end your turn. You may play any number of item cards during your turn, 131 out of 172. So, two misses, two hits. What do you think, guys? Do you think this tin was worth it? Obviously, it's always luck of the draw when you get these tins and when you get Pokemon packs, unless you're one of these people that weighs your packs. But it is what it is. I think I got it for a decent price. It was $14.99. And in total, we have ended up with, from worst to best, let's go back and recap. We have... Trainer Stadium Magma Basin. We have Trainer Supporter Chidi, Cyan Crest, and Fusion Strike, and a Leafeon. Then, obviously, we got a Promo Hishian Typhlosion V, followed up with three more pulls of Mighty Yenna, then Hishian Samurott V Star. And to finish this off, we got an Origin Form Palkia V Star. Obviously, a load of cards to make up decks. And in total, we have five code cards for that we can use to pull digital booster packs and one that we can use to get some items, which you will see, obviously, in some short videos on my channel real, real soon. And a tin in order to keep everything in. So I'm pretty happy for today. I think this was definitely worth it. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. I'll see you in another episode real soon.